The Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. Sponsored by Ohio Northern University. The best discoveries come from the unexpected. By Toledo Clinic. Choose well, feel better. By PT Link Physical Therapy. Feel the difference and get relief now. By Marsha's Homemade Buckeyes. From our kitchen to yours since 1984. By Frickers, the home for fun, food, sports, and spirits. By Fremont Federal Credit Union, where every member is the perfect fit. And by Renewal by Anderson, the better way to a better window. Now, here's Jordan Strack. Welcome into Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. It is week four of the high school football season. In most leagues, that means conference play is underway. We've got 14 games coming your way tonight, but we start in the track. Our only 3-0 versus 3-0 matchup in the area, Fremont Ross making the trip to take on Clay. Both of these teams can really put up the points. Little Giants averaging 46 a game, Eagles averaging 43 a game. Play down 13 late first half. Mason Heinchel, our athlete of the week, breaks free, finds Caven Fryer in the end zone. A second left on the clock, the two point conversion good. Eagles down 28 23 at the break. Third quarter, Fremont Ross on the doorstep. Calandre Jones powers his way in. Little Giants up 35 23. Second half belongs to Fremont Ross. Fourth quarter, Caden Holmes, time in the pocket, fires a strike to Elijah Sims for the score. Offense just keeps putting up numbers and then more here. Bryson Hammer this time wide open. Little Giants are 4-0. They win it 64-31. Tyler Segerman has more from Oregon. Well, all signs pointed to a shootout tonight. Both teams coming in, averaging more than 40 points per game, and the Little Giants continuing to make a statement that they have one of the best offensive units in the area as they pull away and improve to 4-0. We had to dig down deep on the defensive side. Uh, what you saw tonight was two high-powered offenses, who, which I think are the two best offenses in the conference. And, uh, you know, Clay played very, very well. It's very similar to us as far as offenses go. We, we could run the ball, throw the ball, um, you know, and we did a good job chewing up time on the clock. It feels great. I mean, it was definitely a tough battle, but uh, it, we definitely knew it was coming, and before then, it was ours now. We're ready to make it 5 now. They allowed me to get every, anything I wanted, and they allowed to get the running backs whatever they wanted. These kids, a lot of these kids have been starting for four years, so this is what we expect from them. And, and they executed. We did. We weren't sloppy. Uh, we didn't beat ourselves tonight. Uh, we just executed, and that's that's what happens when you got senior leadership and experience. It's it's beautiful, honestly. It feels so great getting to that touchdown, and we won't stop. Little Giants doing what they did last year, and that start the season at four and zero. They'll look to make it five and zero next week when they take on St. Francis in Oregon. Tyler Segerman, WTOL 11. Tyler, thanks. Up next, Central Catholic looks like they're absolutely loaded this year. The Fighting Irish making the trip down I-75. To take on Finley. First drive for Central Catholic handed off to Chris Edmonds. Right up the middle, he would make his way into the end zone for the touchdown, and that's six early for Central. Trojans looking to respond. Ryan Montgomery looks to his left, throws a beautiful ball right to the arms of Javante Hill to get Finley on the board. But the Irish too tough to stop in this thing. Makai Warren taking a short pass here. He would fight his way through defenders, spinning through tackles as he dives his way in for the touchdown. Central Catholic wins it big. 50 to 17. Whitmer trying to bounce back from back-to-back -back losses tonight. The Panthers at home taking on St. Francis. Second quarter, just a few ticks before halftime. Panther quarterback Brady Ford firing across the middle to Devin Morgan. He muscles his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Whitmer takes a 27-0 lead. Third quarter, Knights trying to get on the board. Cam Swiger rolling out right, tucks it, weaves his way in for the touchdown. That would cut into that deficit, but it's not enough. Whitmer would get the win 41-7. St. John's 0-3, but they've lost three straight games by one possession. Tonight, the Titans welcome in Lima Sr. Students actually looking for that first win. Late second quarter, Titans trying to deliver it. Leading 21-0 into the red zone. Blake Lichtenberg, quick pass out to Noah Lee. He would get him down inside the five, and then a few plays later, Lichtenberg with a keeper here. He is in 28-0 Titans at that point. Still in the first half, Lima forced a punt from their own one-yard line. Justin Toler would capitalize. Hesitates, breaks a tackle, and then he's gone. The Titans get their first win of the season. They win it at home tonight, 48-13. to NLL now, Anthony Wayne, 3-0. Tonight, General's making that short trip down the trail to Maumee. Marco Morrison early on to Griff Pike. He would do the rest from 25 yards out, runs it in. It's quickly 7-0, Anthony Wayne. And then on their very next drive, this is just a beautiful throw from Morrison. Pump fake, 
back corner of the end zone, drops a dime to win Sharp. That is picture perfect. Anthony Wayne wins it 41 to three. Perrysburg coming off a thrilling win over St. John's last week in overtime. Jackets welcoming in Bowling Green. Perrysburg leading and looking to add to it. TJ Tackett's rolling, going back across the middle. He's got Gavin Fennekin open in the end zone for the touchdown. Jackets up 28-7. Next possession, BG looking for a big chunk play here. Caden Shank throwing it up, but this ball is picked off by Gray Swanson. He's the only one back there. That is a turnover, and then that would lead to this. Tackett's calling his own number. Only 14 yards, but he runs a lot farther than that. And then he throws a vicious stiff arm. That's just disrespectful. He'd run it in. Perrysburg rolls 49-13. How about the Southview Cougars? They are 3-0, but the competition gets better the next couple weeks. First up, they face Springfield. Second quarter of this one, game tied at 14. Springfield looking for a big play. Will Scott looking deep down the sideline. Jamison Carey comes flying in there for the interception for Southview. A huge turn of events for the Cougars. And Southview would turn that into points a few plays later. Isaac Sexton gets it on the sweep. A little trickeration. He throws it deep. Wide open is Zach Carter. Not going to catch him. Takes it in for the long touchdown. Southview gets the win. 30 to 14. All right, it is time for our first break. We will head to the NWOAL next. But first, it is time for our Band of the Week. Sponsored by Marco's Pizza. Tonight, it's the Start Spartans. We're going to have their full halftime performance posted Monday on WTOL.com. WTOL 11+. Plus. 